Hey guys, so this is the look we're doing today, and it's a spring-ish, cut crease-ish, ish, ish, ish look. Um, yeah, I use yellow wing liner. I usually don't do wing liner at all, let alone colorful wing liner. So, something different. If you guys want to see any more looks or in specific or twirls with anything in specific, let me know down below and I'll be sure to do so. And I'm not going to ramble too much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Alright guys, so I did one eye off camera and we're going to do this eye now. Um, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and set it with a matte white eyeshadow. So yeah, moving on. Alright guys, so I bring you a little bit closer. Um, again, I prime with the MAC Pro Longwear in NW20 and I just set it with Anastasia Shadow in Fresh. It's just a matte, like, off-white. And the first color I'm going to take is McPeak's Chickadee. I've been using this to death, but I am completely obsessed with it, if I'm being honest. Um, I love how yellow it is and how it looks on more olivey skin tones. Um, I think it's a great transition color for any kind of warm tone look and I think these mustardy shades are going to really complement the yellow wing liner that we're going to be doing today. Um, I want to do something a little bit different so I thought colorful wing liner would be a good way to spice it up. And now I'm going to take Chickadee on a more defined brush and this is the Morphe M514 very similar to a MAC 221 brush and I'm going to start adding a little bit more definition right into the socket of my eye. Um, I'm going to be cutting my crease today, so of course I want this to be a little bit higher because I always want to make my eyes appear larger and more open when cutting my crease, especially since my lids are relatively hooded. Um, so yeah, just adding a little bit more definition. Alright, so I'm going to take that smaller brush with a little bit of Chickadee mixed with a little bit of Makeup Geek's newer matte shade in the shade Tiki Hut. Um, very similar to Desert Sands, but a little bit deeper very close to a MAC uninterrupted, something along those lines. A very mustardy brown. And I'm really going to start building up this line of my crease. I like to look down to really get it right in that socket of my eye and really trace out where we're going to cut the crease. Alright guys, so now that I have that really defined crease, I'm going to take my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and this MAC Angled Brush um, and I'm just going to cut my crease with the concealer and then we're going to layer, layer a matte eyeshadow over top. Alright, so now that my crease is actually cut. Um, I'm going to take this flat brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and my Anastasia Fresh Eyeshadow. We're just going to set the concealer. And you want to set this well because it is a cream concealer. Obviously, if you have some kind of white base or something like that, you won't have to worry about anything. Um, I don't find that this creases on me when I use this as a base, but if you have super, super oily eyelids, I would recommend setting it well or using a base, like an eyeshadow base and then the shadow. Um, I'm just doing it that way. My eyelids are pretty oily and I don't experience any issues, so I think you'll be fine. Alright, so now that that's set, I'm going to be doing my eyeliner. Um, I have two choices today. I have the Too Faced new sketch marker, which is an actual marker and it looks like a pen. Very cute. I don't think these are out yet, but if you guys want to see an actual swatch video of all the shades and a dedicated review, let me know down below and I'll be sure to do so. But what I'm going to be using today for eyeliner is the NYX Vivid Brights. Um, and we are doing wing liner today, which is what I don't do usually. So I'm going to say a little prayer while doing this. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm going to try and be able to have this somewhat on camera. But if not, I'm so sorry. Alright guys, so I got my eyeliner as even as I possibly could. Um, and I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I usually don't do wing liner for the fact that it makes my eyes look wonky AF, so that's fun. Um, I'm going to do my skin, but I'm going to speed it up because I know half of you are like, the video's too long, but half of you are like, well, more like 40%, 30% are like, the video's too long, and the other half is like, don't cut out the skin part, that's the hairy part. So yeah, um, I'm going to prime with my new By Terry Terribly Denseless 
Sun Glow. It's an anti wrinkle blur bronzing serum perfector. I'm gonna be matching my face to my neck today. Um, people have been coming for me lately for that. Oh, your foundation's too dark, but it looks good at the end. That's why. Um, so yeah, moving on. We're gonna speed it up and add music, and I will be back to finish up eyes with you guys. <laughs> Okay, so let me run you down what I've done off camera. Um, off camera, I used the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in what shade is this girl? medium brown. It's the actual brow pencil to do my brows, and I cleaned up underneath with my MAC concealer and NW20. And then for lashes, I'm wearing Lily Lashes in Mykonos. Um, I could have worn something a little bit more feline, but I was kind of feeling these. I tried a couple others on, and I just was not digging it. So I'm going with these today. You could probably go with something a little bit thinner if your eyes are a lot more hooded than mine are. Um, and it will really not take away from the eye look too much, but I'm happy with these. So I'm going with them today. And then, what else did I do? So, yeah, I think that's it. And I didn't want eye off camera, so let's do this eye. Um, and for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using MAC Costa Riche. And it's an eye cool that's very warm brown. And what I'm going to be doing is using it more on the outer corner to kind of lift the eye and kind of elongate. Um... With a wing liner, I usually do half eyeliner, eyeliner on the bottom instead of all the way around because I feel like it's more seductive. I don't know. Um, in my head, it makes sense. So I'm just going to be taking this on the outer corner. And then I'm just going to be taking a pencil brush. And buffing it out. So for lipstick today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Ashton Liquid Lipstick. And it's just a nice muted brown. It's weird because it looks very warm, but on me it pulls like cool too. I can't even explain. It looks different on everyone that I've seen wear it. So I'm going to be applying this by itself and no lip liner or anything and yeah. Alright guys, so this is the finished look, and I'm actually pretty happy with how it's turned out. Um, this NYX liner does seem to get a little bit cracky, like when you like make expressions, but it doesn't like crack to where it's falling off, so that's great. Um, let me know again if you guys want to see a review and swatch video on the new Too Faced sketch markers. Sketch markers. Um, I have the full range if you guys want to see like a review and swatch video, how they apply, things like that. Let me know down below and I will be sure to do so. If you guys want to see any more lip swatch videos on specific brands, I will be sure to do that as well. So leave that down below too. And yeah, I hope you like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and let me know what else you guys want to see so I can be sure to do so. Thank you so much for the love and support constantly. Sorry for the lack of posts and 
inconsistency we're trying to work on that here but yeah thank you for the love and support always and until next time i will see you then